Hello and welcome to Watkins Glen. We are here in the Diet Dr. Pepper series in our Gen 4 cars and about to do some road racing. It is the one road race of the season here tonight and uh, we're ready to get started. Pretty excited. Um, I've never driven the Gen 4 on a road course other than the practice leading up to this. So, ought to be interesting. I'm going to jump out real quick since we've all, we got the 8 minutes or whatever, which should be plenty, but it takes a while to get around a road course. So, uh, Gen 4 car, of course. Lots of power, so... Really necessary to get onto the throttle real easy. And speaking of that, we're going to kind of ease through this outlap here. So that way we're not uh, lighting up the rear tires before we even get to uh, do any laps that count. Shooting for a time in the 112s. I think if I can pull that off then we'll be pretty good. Uh, we're not, uh, we're definitely not the fastest guy in here. There's some guys that are almost in the 111s, which is wild to me. Super, super fast. And uh, a bit of a smaller field today, as uh, I guess a couple people were busy, a couple people maybe not ready to take on the challenge of the road course. And I think we also had some guys that uh, just didn't have the required license, the D4.0, needed to show up for this one. So, a bit of a smaller field, that's alright. Should be plenty of racing possible to do. But I'm going to have to focus here tonight. This is really tough. I'm really going to focus on being smooth right now. Try not to slide my tires too much. Alright, this is also the first road course I've done with no auto blip on my shifting so that's a little bit new for me just recently got uh, used to doing that and so lots more shifting here than a normal oval race hopefully I'm up for the challenge I haven't really been missing any shifts so far so let's hope it stays that way On the greatest lap there, it kind of went a little easier. Just to make sure I got a lap in. Maybe this next lap I can push a little harder. B5. All right. So far so good in this lap. It's pretty light on the top of these S's. Could see some spin outs there, which is a really dangerous spot for Rex. Alright, don't get an off track there. Went through there pretty hot. A little loose through the carousel. So far, a better lap, though. Alright, I'll definitely take that. That's uh, right about where my best lap is. Best was a 12.4, this is a 12.6. I accept that number. <laughs> get it off track there just because not paying attention I was looking at the lap time I uh, I got but a biggie there you got Kevin pulled off the 11 I knew someone would they were really close I am just not I don't think I'm gonna be capable of that so he might be looking to get the fastest lap here tonight that's very impressive speed he could get the win as well if he can hold it together the whole run And 
and uh, I'm going to do a practice pit in right here. We have some unique caution rules tonight, which I'll go over in just a moment. But uh, essentially, first five laps guaranteed green. Uh, there are no automatic cautions, so you won't get iRacing deciding when there's a caution. Instead, it will be a random number generator. And uh, after we do the first five laps, as I do my pin here, all the way down to 40, gotta make sure we get slowed down. Oh, shush. Um, so, random number generator. We uh, first five laps will be green, and then on lap six, Gavin will start rolling, essentially rolling a 12-sided die. Uh, it's a random number generator, and uh, it's one through 12. And if he gets a one, he will throw a caution. Um, if we get a caution, we'll do the caution laps, and then uh, after the restart, we'll wait another three laps, and then the numbers will be starting to be, will start to get drawn again. And, uh, you know, it'll just repeat until we get to lap 40 of our 45 lap race here tonight. And uh, then there will be no more cautions, no more potential cautions from that point on. So the last five are essentially guaranteed green, so long as we don't get, like, a caution and, like, lap 39 and then we get a few caution laps that bleed over but we should end under green no matter what and uh based on our estimates we were kind of doing some crunching some numbers seems like uh we'll likely have an average of two cautions tonight but we could get outliers of zero or four so don't really know what to expect my uh, strategy here is just go full tank of gas see if we catch the caution if not head into the pits and uh, continue on our merry way. Right now it's looking like we are P6 on time. Um, got a couple people still going. John there. He's already ahead of us though. Gavin, pretty similar speed to us. He's 3 tenths back. <laughs> Look at Kevin with a half a second faster than everybody else. That's pretty crazy. So, uh, what else? We've got the league standings we can look at real quick. I'll bring those up. Only a couple more races left here tonight. As it looks like we are officially P6. We had some people, I think, maybe leave because they uh, weren't quite feeling up to it, maybe. Maybe not feeling like they were on pace or something. Very, very tough here tonight, so I can uh, understand that. And uh, we'll have our warm-up here. I'll use that time to take a look at these standings. And uh, just got to turn that on right here. There we go. And here it is. So we're 88 points up on Tracy, who could not make it tonight, unfortunately. He's uh, watching the real-life Martinsville race in the... Tour mods, I think he was watching. Modified race or something. So uh, he is unfortunately not going to make it here tonight. But fortunately for us, that means we are going to gain on him no matter what. We got Gavin back there, though, uh, in third place. Looking to hopefully be able to add to that lead as well. But looking pretty good for us in these point standings. Only a couple races left. We got Watkins Glen tonight. And then three more races. Finishing off with Homestead, the classic season finisher right there. And I'm excited for it. Excited for tonight as well. As difficult as it's going to be, I think it's going to be a fun challenge. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye for a moment as we wait for the warm-up. And we'll rejoin when it's time to join the grid. See you there. We're back and ready to grid. Got my settings how I want them. I actually went with a lower steering ratio. 10 to 1. Make sure uh, I've got as much response as possible. And I lowered my brake bias just a tiny bit, but I didn't want to overdo it on that one. So we'll do the good luck all as we head out onto the track. You can see the starting uh, grid there. Ready to go. One left to green. Line up on the left side. I'm going to put Close. all time Close. optimal Close. up. The estimated strength of field is 1,000. Oh, where did my race lab go? Okay, there we go. I brought it back. There you won't be able to see it, but I can see it. Three sets of tires. Alright, very interesting. 
I'm going to do our one pace lap. That'll take a while, but we're going to do it. Make sure we don't uh, spin up our tires. We're really going to need the rear tires this race. The rear tires are what what are going to wear the most. So, um, while actually in the race, I'm definitely going to be easy on the throttle. Much more than I probably even need to be, because we got a lot of laps to do. And uh, we're going to need those rear tires for pretty much all of them. So, going to be real easy on them. Probably upshift before necessary. Do the short shift. And uh, hopefully protect them a little bit more. Billy's got like a fun take on like the old Bell South scheme. I like that a lot. That's fun. Kind of looks like a first gear start. We're really uh, really low in the revs. He's gonna head out in front of us for this. That's fine. We prefer to be single file if possible. Chuck goes alongside us though, so <laughs> never mind that. I didn't mute them, did I? No. Okay. So Kevin with his lightning 111 lap. Going to be starting on the right side here as we're clockwise. Oddly enough, here. Not used to that. In the cup car. The Gen 4. But, uh, we'll try to get a jump. Try to not slam on the back of anybody. Hopefully have ourselves a good race. Top 10 would be excellent if I can manage that. Just to uh, try not to wreck myself and all. About to go green. Stay focused. Okay, the pace Colton, car is in. Watch for the lights. Green, green, green. green. Get a bit of a more of a jump than I expected. Right side. Clear on the right. We got the right. All right. Andrew in front of us. I'm going to leave lots of space heading into the uh, bus stop here. We'll get checked up pretty big. I'm right, going through the carousel for the first time. Really easy on throttle like I said I wanted to be. Catch up real quick for some reason right there. I think they might have gotten stacked up a little bit. Left side. Clear. Car on your left. Still there. Clear on the left. And we will get around, Andrew. There's an incident behind. Oh no, there's been an incident. Who, uh, who got elected or what happened? I didn't see anything, I just heard what my spotter said. Gavin looks okay, he's a second back. Ooh, a little, a little sketchy on entry there. We're okay though. I'm wide through the carousel. Let's cut that down, hopefully, get a good run through. They're side by side of a head? No. Just an optical illusion.
Alright, we're P5 right now. We'll see if uh, saving the rear tires pays off for us, or if it's just a bunch of lost time. The active bits behind is increasing. It's now 0.7. The gap increasing in front of and behind us right now. Don't slide it too much. Definitely wants to. Trying to prevent it. One thing that we thankfully don't have to worry about is incidents. Okay, Colton, no incident limit here today. Though there aren't really any spots on the track that I feel like I can get away with uh, taking extra room and taking the incident or anything. Maybe through there, <laughs> if I take... Uh, one of the curbs a little bit too far, but really aiming to do so. Just keeping it smooth right now. So far, so good. Not this lap, but the next is whenever we might start getting cautions. So we're going to have to keep that in mind. Billy gets sideways. Thankfully he saves it. He, that looked pretty sketchy there for him. I wish I could do the bus stop better. I feel like I'm losing a lot. Oop, there's my first missed shift. Didn't blip it enough. No real harm done, though. Rough couple of corners there. We lost to uh, Billy. You've just done a 114.1. I wonder what I can do to be quicker through here. I mean, that was better, I guess, but still pretty slow. I think the gap is increasing both in front of and behind us. We might have found our spot on the track already. Which, uh, if it's fifth, heck well, yeah, that's great. We'll see how tires uh, play out, though. The rear tires could really start throwing people for loops. 
Maybe literally. I've already seen Billy get loose out of turn one here. slidey through there. If I'm gonna wreck it, it's probably gonna be through the bus stop. Very dangerous part of the track. Catching us a little bit, maybe. I think it's going to be a pretty quiet race on the radios here because everyone's going to be focusing at pretty much all times. Could be a caution at any time now, don't forget. We are in that territory now. Wide, that's okay. Not even an X out there. Just using the whole crack, that's all. Oh, slid it a little bit there. Didn't like that. Don't do that anymore. Uh, we just got some cloud cover. That could help grip on the track. Catching Billy a little bit, I think. Haven't gotten too loose on throttle, thankfully. Been able to avoid that feeling. Your last lap time was at Hopefully that means we're doing a good job of protecting the rear tires as much as we need to. Almost two seconds behind us now. Weird through there. Billy's one second behind a Leighton up there. Hot, little hot. 
Oh, oh, okay, that got scary. That was really, really loose once I shifted down. Did not like that at all. Can't be doing that. Be aware that the rear tires are probably hot right now. I'm just sliding it a little bit. I don't know if that comes across on video quite well, but it definitely felt scary entering that corner. We got a lead change. That sounds like John's up there in the lead now. But Kevin's all right. He just uh, didn't just spill it. Caution yet. We might get to green flag pit stops. Using that curb a little bit. Short sway around. Wonder if we'll have anyone short pit. I don't think I'll be doing so. I don't think, uh, I don't know. I don't think that's the right way to do it. I could be wrong. Then again, you don't lose a lap when you pit. Because this place is so large. If we do short pit. Billy catching a Leighton up there. Okay, Colton, you've got half your fuel left. The actor Phipps behind is now 1.9 seconds. Maybe we do come in on lap like 23 or something. We'll see. We could get a caution before then anyway. That was a 114.5. Wonder how much uh if they get side by side up there that's gonna bring them back to us. Could be a situation where a Leighton just lets them by real quick. Sun's come out again. Cloud cover has ended. Gaining a ton on me. I'm not driving very well, I guess, all of a sudden. That lap time was 114.9.
weird. I don't feel like I'm losing the handling much at all or anything, but they're catching so fast. I'm not sure what I'm doing differently. Maybe I just have less grip in the tires and it just makes me slower. But he's almost within one second behind me now. Imagine Gavin's probably drawing the random number on this long stretch here, because he has the most time to do it, if I had to guess. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Overdrove that bad. That was really bad. I'm lucky I didn't crash myself there. This is really tough. This might have been one of those races where I chose not to record. If this was like a one-off or something, just because it's so hard to talk and focus at the same time. But because it's part of the Diet Dr. Pepper series, I want to make sure every race is available to watch. Pardon me if my commentary is not very good. That's why. It's almost uh, half a second away now. The lap time was at 114.8. When Andrew gets here, I'm probably just going to let him go. Okay, Colton, hold your nerve. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. Off the pace in sector one. Sector two is 0.3. Off the pace. Sector three time is fast. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. It just feels like I'm getting less drive off of the right, the rear tires. So maybe even though I was trying to be easy on them, I might not have been. It's helping people gain on me. I'm just terrible for the bus stop too. I'm just making uh I'm way too slow. The car in front of us is I'm not sure how to improve on that. Side by side up ahead. They've been side by side. We're catching them a little bit because of it. You've just done a 114.6. Oh, it pitched sideways a little. That was bad. It's all about keeping the tire temps happy, I think. As soon as you start sliding them like I did, it's the next however many corners is really rough. Leighton has been passed now. Yeah, he fought a little bit for that spot. That might have hurt him even more.
Andrew's real close to us, though. That's my turn in. Put the slower there as a result. You've just done a 115.3. I'm gonna have to start shifting later into turn one because otherwise I'm gonna be sent sideways. Remember, I just, I really want to finish this race cleanly, so if I can pull that off, even if I lose a spot or two, that's fine. Go ahead, Dane. Oh, we got a hitter here. It's coming in lap 20. Thank you. We have five laps of fuel left. It's just the same. There have been no ones so far in the random drawing. A little surprising. Can't worry about Andrew behind me, I just have to run my own line. If I start looking at him, I'm gonna make mistakes. This is really tough. I'm sweating, man. The car's definitely light on throttle at this point. I gotta be really careful about when I'm shifting because it wants to break sideways on me. I need to be slow through the bus stop. Ooh, easy. It's getting. Chuck, I'm coming in this lap. Getting rough on the uh, throttle. Deleted sighting now. Andrew's coming in. I guess we'll come in this lap. Since we have no worry about going a lap down. So I guess we'll come in. Come in right now. If the caution comes out, then everybody who hasn't pit needs to pit anyway. I think I'm behind us now, 
I think this time, Gavin. I don't know why I shifted fourth. Haven't been doing that all race. Thinking about the spit stop. The lead is bidding now. Engage the limiter. Okay. Weird pit stop hit here. We got to go to the right side. Lemons is leading the race. We're halfway Fuel. in the race. Do I hate pit tires. Alright. Back in third. Keep hustling. Five. Yeah, I'm surprised we haven't Three, got one yet. Two. One. Right here. Got it stopped. There are tires. You can see the rear tires really hurting. Especially the left sides. Lots of right side turns here, so that's not too surprising. That's it, go. There's a car behind. Take care, rejoin him. Left side. Clear on the left. Come out in front of Andrew. Be faster for a little bit. Well, probably not that much faster. Uh oh, it's Billy. Oh no, that stinks. He was ahead of us. I got my wish of green card stopped. Sixth place. All pit, go from my own side. Outside. Savoir is leading the race. The car is in front now, pitting. Hate that for Billy, that's a rough break. He must have just had trouble getting to the bus stop on the new tires. You're back in pit. Well done, Colton. This is terrific. Exactly what we came here for before. It is strange getting used to the tires the way they feel now again. Andrew right behind us. We had some people that pit much earlier. They got a big jump on us. Hopefully our newer tires will help bring them back. You're back in fourth position. I wonder if Billy's going to be able to catch us by the end of this one. I know he's faster than we are. I don't see him on the relative, though. He might have gotten stuck there for a little while. We've had a zero X race so far, even though we don't need to have one. That's kind of nice. At least it uh, symbolizes the fact that we've been trying to be consistent, stay within the bounds of the racetrack, and all that good stuff. Caution! Yellow flag. Oh, there it is. Pete Road, all right. Closed right now. Catch about twelve. Car. What's the play here? We might stay out if we can get the lap led. Then again, if we get to the pits before they do, we might be able to come out to the pits pretty early and not have to worry about people behind us not pitting. 
they start like this when we answer. Okay. Now nah, we got the pace car. So tires really aren't that old. And they're going to cool down right now, which I think is the biggest factor. Single file restarts. We might stay out. We'll see what other people do. If everyone else stays out in front of us, maybe we do pit, but... Very interesting. Because we have just pitted very recently. So that's one caution, as Gavin got the one random number generator number. We could still end up with another one before the end of this one, but with how long it took, we might just end up with one caution this race. Because once we go green, it'll be another three laps before it's even eligible, and then uh, once we get to lap 40, completed now open. there will be no more cautions so this might be a one caution race what's everybody doing here watch your speed split decision we're coming in 40 miles per hour we'll need to stop again pit box team 10. Five, three, two, one. Right here. All right. Yeah, they were barely used. Ninety-seven on the left rear, though. But we'll take the opportunity to come in. Okay, punch it. You only have one time. Almost be late now. Line up, single file. So our tires are completely cold and fresh. Get up 12. We'll lose some Stop. spots from it, I think. Not too many. I'm okay with that. Small field here today. Still got another set if we get another caution. So I'm feeling all right with that. And heck, maybe next time. Maybe next time if uh, we get a caution, we stay out that time. We'll see. Depends on when it happens, I suppose. We we're about fourth, I think. Now we're eighth. Eighth place. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Spotter. I'm okay with that. I think a lot of the guys in front of us are faster anyway. We'll try to get around uh, guys like Shane. Gavin were behind us. I think Chuck. Was Chuck behind us as well? Maybe. I think it was Kevin Andrew... Was Andrew? Andrew was in front of us, right? I don't remember. <laughs> I clearly have a terrible memory. Single file restarts, though, here. First yellow, I always forget a single file. I didn't hear what he said. Yeah, and I think everybody's back on the lead lap now. I'm just happy I made it in top five even if I was on the coach. We'll see what happens. They might be able to hold on just fine on their older tires. It might have been the smart move to stay out. I don't know how you top eight were doing it. I'm just pulling me a second of life on this. I was having a pretty hard time keeping up with them anyway. Until the end, I started catching them. I think I... Just save my tires a little bit better. It's going to be shorter run this time. My car's trying to 
as per usual, I'm fairly quick to start a run, but then I just burn on my tires. Keep okay, putting the pressure on. Force a mistake. Shorter run, we might be able to push a little harder. We get ourselves a good jump here. Make sure we don't run into the back of anybody into turn one either, though, because it could get stacked up. Fourth in the top ten. It's really all I wanted. Just a clean race day here today. A solid finish. So doing well. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green flag. Green flag. <laughs> Trying to see and turning my wheel. Got me all messed up. Looking wiggly. Right side. We really need to be in front of this car. Go really don't want to be left. here. Clear. Come on, Colter. Good stuff. Keep it coming. Belayton. Don't be distracted. Defend your position. All right. Let's see what we got. Fifteen laps to go. Seventh position. Shane goes a little bit hard, locks up the brakes, I think. You <laughs> see, I'm getting too crazy. I gotta be smoother. Shane's getting sideways, nearly crashing. I was, I was nervous. Sorry. No, that was on me. I went a little too hard in there. That's the field kind of mixed up a little bit. Might have I some. I lost track of where I was. I'm about killed everybody. Got some people. Getting up near each other. Sixth place. P6. That was a one twelve point eight. You can see the whole field up there getting kind of scrunched. I'm going to go off track almost. That was terrible. Pushing too hard. Trying to find the line of where I, how I want to run with these better tires. I want to push a little bit, but I can't push too hard. That's the issue I'm facing right now.
keep going a little bit too fast. Looks like John might have looked at the inside of Gavin there into the bus stop. It's pretty scary. Maybe just trying to make him make a mistake though. A little more scary if he's going to be blinking too. Oh, they're side by side. They're having quite a battle. Is that three wide? Almost, if not. John makes a pass of two. At the very end of the lap there. Your lap time was one twelve point nine. Side by side up there too. There's some serious battling going on right now. Sorry, I got a little bit tight right there. That was my bad. Everyone's pretty scrunched up here from second to sixth. Shouldn't have been able to save that. That was a horrible, horrible moment. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 1.3 V6. That was really bad. Billy's behind us now. Ten to go. This time by. Was that one fifteen point zero? Slow in, fast out. Keep the inside line covered. Through there extra slow that time because of last lap. The yellow flag is oh, out. wow, another yellow flag. Closed, pit road is closed. Catch up, seventy five. Car. Is everybody gonna stay up this time? I really wanted that to go green. I was just about to pit that lap too. Pit? Gap to Roberts. Really? Is now Before. Anticipating the, uh, the caution, maybe? That's interesting. I think we do the opposite of what the people ahead of us do. Stay close. Leaning Stay towards close. staying out. But if they all stay out, maybe we go in. 
So that's a lot of people that could also stay out behind us. Definitely leaning towards staying out. We might just have to stay out, I think. Nice to have a little bit of a break, though. My hands were hurting a little bit. Really having to hold on to this thing. I'm overdriving it, almost definitely. But Billy's behind us, and I know he's faster. He just had the mistake earlier. Or maybe not. I don't even know what happened. Could have been something else involving someone else. No idea, but... Hmm. Kevin's up front. He definitely has the best short run speed, I think. John had the lead earlier, after a longer run. Kevin could be in a really good spot. Gate ride's open. What's everybody going to do? Look out for the pit speed limit. Staying out. Interesting split decision there. That'll put us in fourth. I just think there's too few laps to go. And we're going to cool our tires down. We already have fresher tires than some of the other guys in front of us. I'm okay with this decision. It sure is tough, though, I gotta say. Stock cars on road course is always a bit of a challenge, but you got a car with this much power. Feels like you got no time to think, even. And Watkins Glen has some pretty long straightaways for a road course. But this thing gets going quick. So you gotta be ready for the next corner. A lot of the guys behind us pit. I think the first person on the fresh tires is Andrew. It's only a couple spots back, but as stated, we're gonna have what? I think this has been a pretty interesting race. Yeah, I agree. I think we got like I six laps. <laughs> six laps to finish. Yeah, I've been terrible, but it's been fun. Chuck. Yeah, I had to handicap myself, you know. Dumping, reporting his reporting his tires. A couple laps, you know. Give other guys a chance. Well, you're up to six now, so you're doing good. Our tire numbers are uh, after a uh, short run. All those guys did. I'm sure it won't last. Well, hopefully you'll hold them back for a little bit at least. <laughs> I'll be, I'll become a moving roadblock. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Andrew, you make the hole off all your turn, bud. Well, Dakota, I probably won't catch you, but don't be a roadblock in front of me. I suck too bad. I'm going to do my snow plow impression. Come on, find the gap. One to go. Next time by. I think 10 laps is enough that all of you are sitting ducks. There'll the be tires. six to go. There will be no more cautions. This is going to be a final round to the end. I've got to try not to overdrive. I'm going to try to be fast, but try not to overdrive. Find that fine line. I am in fourth place. I got some people that are faster than me behind me. Guys on fresher tires as well. So I've got to expect they could be coming around us. 
can't wreck myself trying to keep them those spots, which I probably don't deserve anyway. Gotta be smart and get ourselves a decent finish here today. And hopefully my computer doesn't just power off like it did in the last K5 championship race, which really stunk. I think I've diagnosed why that happened, but it'd be great if it didn't happen again. Wasn't very fun. It's in second place. Thinking about how to maybe get to first place. And, uh, boop. Computer's off. No more computer. Your race is over. Bye-bye. And, uh, that wasn't very fun. I didn't enjoy that. So let's not do that again. I hope. Maybe get ourselves a good jump. It's gonna be hard to see the leader, but we'll do our best. We're looking for the red car up there. About to go green. Stay focused. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green, green, green. You're back in fourth position. A little wibbly. I definitely feel cooler. Not that cool though, because I just had a wiggle. Car on. Keep to the left. Clear on the right. Let Billy go. Ah, uh, bad look, mate. Weird entry to the corner, so I got all kinds of messed up. Still top five. Now let's bring it home safe. Top five would be excellent. Less than optimal. I'm having a great time. Top five. I'm top five. Less than optimal. Get out of here. You drive the car if you're not happy. Better through there that time. Oh, <laughs> we're basically cutting quarters. Worked out though. Technically didn't cut the corner, so we're fine. Billy's pushing hard, you can kind of tell. I was going to say that was a good lap, but then I nearly spun it on the exit of the final corner. Gap two. Roberts in front is now 0.8. New fastest lap for Savoy on 12.1. It's your best lap. Uh, mess my turn in a little bit. We got a big gap behind us, that's nice. I think it was definitely the goal, the play, to, uh... Yeah. See if anything happens up in front of us as they're battling for position. They're all pretty close to one another. They're going wide up there.
Lap was a 113.1. Oh, some smoked tires. Okay, Colton, we're at the halfway point. We estimate 25 minutes of fuel remaining. Side by side, that's helping us catch up. Car on your left. Still there, hold your line. Keep to the right. Clear on the left. Right side, clear. You cut the course, you try to slow down and give up that time. Clear. Sorry, that was less than optimal. Car right. No, you're good, we're all clear. clear. Here. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, need I say anything about that? Well, my uh, tires are deceased. Uh, I, I'm glad I'm not deceased, though. So we're gonna take it. P6. Let's not miss our braking zone this time. The tires are not happy. There's so much less grip in these things after what I did. <laughs> what a miracle that I'm still sixth and I didn't run into anybody. Time was at 113.7. Kill myself or anybody else. Oh my god. That's all that was. That's two minutes left. Two oh minutes. man, good battle, Kevin. Whew. Man, that was fun. Great job, John. Holy crap, I didn't think I was going to hold you Side by side out of the final quarter. They're almost three wide. Great job, Kevin. Excellent win, man. Wow, okay. I went for the bump and run in the carousel, but Six it got me. There we go. It's over. Moved. Bring it back round. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Uh, it's like coming up on when I saw you gas it up like oh. a tiny bit. Just to not spin out. It worked out just perfect, I guess. And a great run, man. That was fun. Yeah, you too, Kevin. Awesome race, man. Oh, great race, man. That was awesome. Great win again, Kevin. Great win. That was some fun racing there. Great win, good race, really, yeah. Uh, Putting on the series, it's a blast, man. Thanks. Good win, good race, and sorry about that thing that happened. Uh, that was really not great. <laughs> it was just a little jump scare for uh, Halloween. No damage for anybody, so we're good. <laughs> My car didn't want to break as late as I wanted to, and it was having a bad time. But, <laughs> yeah, happy Halloween. <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta take a look at that. Oh boy.
That was so bad. Uh, I'm so glad I didn't run into them. I got alongside Gavin there and I was taking a look, seeing if he was going to back out, and then I just missed my braking marker. Only by a little bit, too. Braking marker was right around this, a little before the 600. I go like 55, you know, 550 kind of. That's where I ended up actually hitting the brakes and uh, I had to get on it real hard and it just, the tires were locked up. You can see I turn it, I don't want to hit Billy. I know I'm about to go through here, so I turn it left so I'm not going to come get Gavin. I had to like shoot the gap between them. Oh. Did I cost Billy third? Because he had to take the slow down there. I'm pretty sure. Now I think he's okay. He was a, if he did have a slowdown, he uh, he wore it off already. He must have had a later slowdown or something. Whew, all right. Well. We get P6. We can think about that now. Um, it's about where I was running anyway. I think the Leighton was probably faster than us. So that's fine. What happened to my tires after that slide? Nothing good, I'm sure. I mean, these are a little bit older tires now, but I feel like these numbers are a little bit lower <laughs> than they would have been otherwise because of how I treated them during that one particular instance. Uh, we'll take a look at the incidents now. We'll probably show up for that. We had the one incident. In fact, we had a tied for the lowest amount of people that actually raced with Kevin, the winner. And my 1X was the one time I slid through the, the bus stop there. I told you if I was going to mess something up, it was going to be the bus stop. I just didn't expect it to look quite like that. But uh, that's all good and fine, I suppose. Uh, anyway, like I said, we'll take a look at the incidents now. Hopefully it should be fixed uh, with the storage issues I was having. So, be able to see it from the beginning. Not for some reason. Uh, Nick King just going to blink a little bit, I guess. So I get that off there. And throw it on pad three. There we go. And uh, furthermore, on lap one. Ooh, John almost eats the barrier there. That would have been an early race ender. Dakota gets it sideways out of turn one. That was one of the more sketchy spots on the track. Now we're two back there getting on the curbs and the car doesn't like it. It's unsettled. Kevin in the lead, what's he going to do? Maybe prediction code thinking he gets that barrier. I think the fastest way through there is to cut that as close as possible, but... Definitely dangerous. There's that turn one again, grabbing somebody. That was Frank. <laughs> yeah. Guess that's the way to be fast. You really just gotta cut it as close as you can there. Here's another place that was really sketchy is at the, the top of the S's. To getting it a little bit. And then a really light, oh no. Didn't know someone was coming. Very little grip out here as well, and so probably trying to gas it up, turn sideways, and then he kind of locks it up so he doesn't go sideways. Frank not quite ready for that. Just barely not able to avoid him. And we're already in lap 23. Dan goes way too far out there. Doesn't look like too much harm done, though. Here's what happened to Billy. He, he looks like he gets... Oh, he shifts and it, it breaks sideways on him. I'm assuming that's what happened. That very nearly happened to me a couple times. Fortunately, he's not able to save it. But the caution later allows him to catch back up. Dan going to the pits early. Or late, I guess, because it's lap 32 now. He was not wanting to do that. 
That's probably some sort of penalty. I don't know what the penalty is for <laughs> exiting the entrance of the pits, but probably Irison didn't like it. Going through the carousel there. 74. Turn one's going to bite him. Chuck gets over the rumble strips. Oh, no. He would have been a guy that passed us if uh, he hadn't done that. Because he was in front of a late. So that would have been another spot we lost after the thing that happens right here. <laughs> What a menace I am. I just, I was so worried about, uh, I didn't expect to get to Gavin's inside there. I knew they were fighting, I just caught them so quickly. And I was like, oh dang, I'm here, I guess. And then I'm like, alright, where's Gavin? And then, oh, I, my breaking marker was 10 meters back. Where's Gavin? Oh, there's the breaking point. And it was too late. Oh, just I'm just glad I didn't wreck anybody. And then my tires are absolutely on fire. So I had to let them cool down. I almost got sideways there. Finally able to get it gripped up again. Sort of. I had to go through the grass there a little bit. I was a mess for a minute. That did horrible things to the tires. There was immediate difference I could feel after I just completely flat spotted them without flat spotting them. Because that's not a thing on iRacing, but I don't think they survived that in real life, to be honest. Whoa. Interesting situation here. It's final lap coming to the checkered. Shane looking to get around Dakota. He goes wide there. Looking to get his nose. He does it too. But not without nearly spinning. And uh, is that a Leighton? Andrew. Andrew gets by him. They're Andrew and a Leighton's cars look kind of similar to me, I think. The blue and red and then the kind of like a reddish blue kind of thing. But uh, I imagine that's probably about it. Yeah, this is afterward. Just some messing around, I imagine, so. That will do it. I nearly throw it away, but we still get a P6, thankfully. Um, I'm so glad I didn't run into Gavin or Billy, or thankfully it didn't look like I affected their race either. Uh, except for one moment where they're like, oh god, what's this guy doing? But uh, we will go ahead and look at the race results, and then we'll look at... The championship standings after that one. Tracy, again, not here today, so we're going to gain quite a bit on him. But not on Gavin. Gavin's going to gain a little bit on us. So we'll, we'll see how that all plays out. Now here's the race results. Shorter field here today. Kevin gets the win and the fastest lap. He makes up a lot of points here tonight. Just the one incident for him. 42 laps led, so he gets most last laps led. He's going to get about 185 points. John with the P2. He gets a whole bunch out of that. Gavin with the P3 and 170 points. He led some laps as well. So he has a great day. And he'll gain about 20 points on us. As uh, we don't lead any laps or get the fastest lap or anything. But uh, still a solid finish, thankfully. After I tried to throw it away. But uh, <laughs> we're okay, I guess. Everything is A-OK. -okay, just how we drew it up. <laughs> Definitely. Very tough one, though. Um, 17 cars um, on, the, on the grid here. But uh, really only a 15-car race. So smaller one. Road course is such a challenge. But uh, you'll see even, the, even 15th here. Jacob gets 118 points. Because uh, these things are set up for as if we had a 43-car field. So he still has a pretty darn good day. So that will do it for the race results. And here are your league standings updated. We are still in the league lead. But uh, by just under 200 points. 
So that is 170, I believe. If, uh, if I know how to do math. I don't think I do. No, I think it's 170. But 170 in front of Gavin. Uh, John, pulling in a little closer. He's just behind Gavin after his P2 for performance here today. I think whether uh, if he had not missed a race or something, he probably would have been right up there, uh, if not in front of us. And then Tracy, after missing this race, falls to fourth, but still not too crazy far away. We've got three races left to uh, try to hold on to our championship lead. It's Kansas, Phoenix, and Homestead. And uh, I guess thankfully for me, no more road courses to, to absolutely uh, destroy my car in. As I nearly did, but some uh, some fun ones coming up, I hope. It's like uh, some good tracks. So I hope to see you there, and I hope you enjoyed this one. This has been Watkins Glen in the Gen 4 Diet Dr. Pepper series. I appreciate you, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.